Okay, hi everyone. Went to, to the charity shops yesterday and I thought I would just show you um, some things that we got. I'm going to do, I think, uh, all of the non-clothing stuff first. Apart from this, which I didn't get yesterday, but uh, it was being photographed yesterday, so it was just out. And so I wanted to show, it's like a vintage, um, really loud block colour, uh, like a ski jacket, snowsuit type thing. So we paid £20 for this, which I know seems like a lot of money and I put it on Instagram and people were really, I did like a little poll. Um, Jamie always laughs at me for the way I say poll. Uh, but yeah, and it was like 50-50 people were saying, yes, I would pick it up and no, I wouldn't pick it up for £20. Anyway, I photographed it or I should say Jamie's photographed it, and uh, it's gone on for £60 with free postage, and uh, it's got a couple of watches on already and had a few questions asked about it, so hopefully did the right thing there in paying £20 for that. I'm also going to, when I get a chance, cross-list it over on Etsy as well, because I have sold two vintage um, ski jackets and snowsuits and things, so... Yeah, I'm going to cross list it across there. I would prefer for it to sell on Etsy because the fees are um, much less. So that's that. And then, okay, my sort of out of my comfort zone thing was this. Uh, what I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's brass. I don't know if that's going to focus there. Um, and then like the glass green top lamp um, and it's got age spots I, I think this is I, I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about so I'm assuming that these are called age spots but yeah this um, vintage lamp thing I paid five pound for it and when I did the quickest of searches in the charity shop last night uh, yesterday it seemed to be um, suggesting around about 30 pounds which I thought was pretty cheap so um, I'm going to say £30 and upwards on that. Again, I'm going to cross-list that over onto Etsy as well uh, and see what happens. So, yeah, I was quite happy with that because it's not something that I would usually pick up. It just reminds me of those sort of, you see them in like, you know, Mad Men and just in like films when people are in libraries studying and that sort of thing. That's the kind of thing that it reminds me of. So, uh, yeah, I was happy to pick that up. And then... These, uh, the car, the remote control cars from, um, to from Toy Story, they were three pound each. For some reason, this charity shop brought out a load of Toy Story stuff. No idea where it came from, uh, but you know, if it all came from the same person or, or whatnot, because there was about three of these cars. So I paid three pound for these. I don't think these are um, Disney ones. It says IMC on the back of it. I think the Disney ones go for about twenty five. But if these are all working and correct, they've all got, you know, they've got their um, remote control handles with them. If they're all working, hopefully about £15 plus postage uh, on them. And then Jamie um, picked up, he paid £10 for this Atari flashback uh, console. So um, if that's all working, he said he'll hopefully get about £30 back on that one. And then let me just go over to this side. This mouse trap was two pounds that'll go up to amazon fba um probably around about 30 pounds or so i think on that and then he's picked up uh these we fit sport and we fit plus i'm not sure if that's i'm assuming that these are to bundle up with a we fit board uh but yeah he paid i think one pound 50 for this one and i think it was two pound for that one a jurassic park it's a fifth edition i think it's 1991 uh, hardback book it was 50p and I just didn't know whether to pick this up or not uh, whether it would you know sit around or, or whatever I have seen some going for between like 10 to 12 pound like a fourth edition going for that but then I've seen like big companies like world of books or you know the big um, big big companies have been selling them for like two pound 80 but they haven't uh, said you know what edition it is and, and stuff like that so I thought I'd give that a go anyway and just see what happens with it and then this sharp typewriter uh, it's that's the actual number of it there if that'll focus uh, Jamie paid eight pounds for this I've just done a quick little research online and it looks if that's all working uh, and in good condition 
should be between 40 and 50 pounds i think if we had the manual it would be 50 pounds but without the manual um yeah it looks like maybe 40 to 45 on that one so that's a nice pickup as long as it's working and then again really sort of outside of my comfort zone is this uh it's like a flower stand so you'd put your plants on here uh, and here now I picked this up because I was looking something uh, I was looking for something for myself on Etsy a few months back and I saw that this style of like plant holder was doing quite well I'm assuming again really out of I don't know these so I'm assuming that this is like wicker um, or bamboo I'm a, maybe there yeah maybe bamboo I'm not sure but yeah I saw them doing quite well on Etsy and this was I definitely had Etsy in mind for this so um I would think it'll be around like 25 to 40 I'm gonna really have to do a lot more research into this because yeah it's not something that I know off the top of my head but thought that I would just give it a go okay I'm pretty sure from here on out we are all clothes so Oh, Hudson, uh, it's a US make brand of jean. Um, I paid £3.50 for them. I don't see them that often and it's a size 10, so it is a small size. have seen people get in between 20 and um, 20 and 30 for these uh, in a size 10 as well. So hopefully around somewhere around that mark. And not your daughter jeans. They are a, si a UK size 8, US size 4. So it's a really small size, but they were 99p, so I didn't really want to leave them behind for 99p, even if I just priced them fairly cheap. Hopefully that'll make them sell faster, because obviously I think, you know, size 8 is a slow, slower seller. And again, 99p. Um, I've not seen this Bowden uh, label before, Bo Bowden Limited Edition. Um, so yeah, that was 99p and that's a size 12, just like a, uh, just some sort of top really. Don't often pick up, don't always pick up a lot of tops to be honest, but probably around about sort of £12 plus postage I think. And then I also just kept finding loads of Joe Browns all of a sudden, uh, which is quite nice. So this uh, sort of like a tunic dress or a long top, I'd say almost uh, maybe kind of like steampunk style um, so I paid £6.90 for that and that is a size 16 and I'll probably go for about 25 to 30 on that one and then I haven't picked up a fugly top for absolutely ages so I saw this lovely lovely um, shirt I paid £2.50 for that and that's a size 12 and I'll go for about 15 um, yeah probably about £12 plus post on that I think and again Joe Browns this was the same shop um, it says size 10 there but it's not it's a size 16 which is a bit of a bonus because when I bought that I thought it was size 10 uh, and it's just like this this knit cardigan so yeah I paid four pounds for that and I'd imagine 20 to 25 on that one jewels size 10 that's the label and I paid six pounds for this uh, like a pullover I think it's 100% wool pullover wool knit with a v-neck and with the stripes that's what made me pick it up so hopefully about 20 on that one I think about 20 to 25 I think on that one might have to wait a while for that to sell I think and possibly you know I know it's still cold outside but we are coming into spring you know spring is getting closer so we'll see. and then this gray jumper uh, it is a size 16 and it's Tommy Hilfiger. Oh no, it's not size 16. So it's, uh, it's a size 16, but it's a medium. Um, and this was half price, so this was £2.50 on this one. Not sure actually, because I don't pick up that much women's Tommy Hilfiger, but I'd imagine around, around about the £15 mark or so. 
one of Jamie's pickups, this Fred Perry men's shirt. He paid £3.50 and it's a size medium. That's £20. And again, Joe Brown's size 16. I paid £2.30 for this sort of tunic top. Um, and it's got a little button detail down here. Uh, again, yeah, about, I think about £20 on that one. And this is a cord. Laura Ashley skirt, it's size 18 and it was half price at £2.24. Um, sorry, size 18. Did I say 16 or 18? Anyway, it's size 18. This will go for about um, 15 to 18 pounds. Um, yeah, even more Joe Brown stuff. This, this is a really nice dress actually. Actually, I don't know if I want to say if that feels like linen, I'll check later. But Joe Brown's. Size 18, blue dress. Um, I paid £4 for it. It's sleeveless and it's sort of got this Largan look going on um, down at the bottom. Uh, about 25 I think, on that one. And then this makes me think that this shop gets X stock of Joe Brown. So, not 100% sure. So, we've got exactly the two same dresses. This is a size 16 but doesn't have tags. And this is a size 14, but it does have tags. But this is in like fantastic condition, so I don't know if it's just lost the tags or not. But it's kind of like a bodycon um, style of uh, style of dress, very floral, very spring. And yeah, size 16. So paid four pound fifty for that one, and the size 14 one again paid four pound fifty. And this is the one, new with tags, so that was a nice find. Um, I will probably go for a, between 30 and 35 on these, I think. And then one of Jamie's pickups, um, All Saints, I think he's taken a tag, oh no, here it is. Yeah, an All Saints, um, it was in the men's section, like an All Saints knit with these little toggle buttons. Uh, and he paid six pounds for that one. Not sure what he's hoping to get back on it. I would imagine twenty-five to thirty, but couldn't be a hundred percent sure. Okay, this is a it's a size twenty-six. So it's a really large, like sleeveless dress, and the make is and the make is Anne Harvey, and I think they do like a plus size plus size clothing. I think I paid uh, three pound fifty for that probably go for around 20 to 25 on that one this is a phase 8 um, kind of tunic top I paid 99p for it and it's a size 12 and hopefully should get around about um, I don't know really yeah around about 15 pound for that one I think and then this here is a, um, a it's like a sleeved dress uh, but it does need, if you can see there, it does need debobbling. But I picked it up anyway because it's mint velvet, which is a nice brand. It's mint velvet. Yeah, it's mint velvet and it's size 16. And I paid £2 for it. Again, that between 20 and 25 I think. And then here is Bowden and it's a size 12 and I paid £3.50 for it. And it's a long denim dress. Which is quite, it's quite nice, I think. Uh, I think that'll do quite well in summer as well. I would imagine around about twenty pounds uh, for that one. And then Weird Fish, not a brand that I see too often, but Weird Fish. It was in the men's department, but I'm pretty sure it's women's. I'm pretty sure it's women's, just because this bit at the back is longer than the front, and I don't think I've ever really seen that on a man's before it's, that's how I always sort of see it on women so I do think it's a women's but I paid £2.50 for it possibly between tw uh, 15 to 20 on that one I think so Jamie did get some more like football shirts and sportswear but he's not here at the moment and I don't know what he expects to get back on them so I don't really want to show them without saying you know what what i expect to get back on anyway thanks for watching guys um if you like that video you can hit subscribe and i'll put my instagram profile um down in the box below if you want to go and follow me there i tend to do more day-to-day -day stuff on that so yeah thanks for watching and speak to you again soon